Uh, you're out every day and you know you have day, days long in the meeting and just kind of get used to it and getting used to the rhythm now, but it's been good so far. I'm seeing all these tools he keeps bringing out of his toolbox in terms of Bill Callahan. Just yeah. all these little detailed things that you do, how much has that even helped early on? Yeah, I think that's why he makes makes him a great coach is he gives you a lot of tools to to um, to attack defensive linemen and attack you know attack schemes and then counter off that. So you really feel like you have a lot of tools in your arsenal um, whenever you get up to the line. So that you know I think that's been a huge help for me in terms of making me feel more comfortable in position. What have you noticed from the guys lining up there? Um, yeah, I mean they've both been great. Left so and middle. Okay, just just yeah. JC. Um, yeah, he's got tons of energy and um, a really really great attitude. You know he's he's such a competitor. Um, so it's you know it's, it's almost like brings me up to another level too, trying to match that level of competition, um, because he really wants to get out there and get at it, and it's just great to play someone next to someone with that kind of attitude, because he kind of brings the best out of you too. Yeah, coach has been great. You know, he's rock solid in terms of the mental, and then obviously the physical is there too. So um, it's really nice to have someone you can rely on, who's like, all right, yeah, he knows this, he knows that. Um, and you just say, yeah, you know, Kish, Kish will get us right, you know what I mean, in terms of where we're going, and that's exactly what you want in the center. Last year you were kind of learning, relearning a new position. Yeah. How much more comfortable do you feel now with that? Yeah, I feel way more comfortable. Um, like I said, like so many more tools in my toolbox as a guard um, from coach, and um, just having a year down in terms of just the field position and the speed of the game I think is way more comfortable with that too. So it um, feels like night and day from last year, but obviously plenty more to work to do. Peter, being out here, you guys still getting work in, but obviously you don't have the pads on. Yeah. For you, like, what's your process? Like, How do you go about you know, getting something out of practice without having that physicality? Yeah, the mentality and level of competition I think is the standard, you know, whether we have pads on or not in terms of our intensity and um, you know, our effort and finish, but obviously there's only so much you can do on offense and on defense without pads, um, and that you can't tell too much. You know, my coaching college just call it like soccer practice. You know, there's only so much you can do um, in terms of physicality, but the effort and intensity is always there, so that never changes. And what about that focus, like on technique? Because you see the different things that Coach Callahan has you guys doing. Like, how much does that transfer? into like you know your live reps and practice. Tremendously. I mean it that's all that's all it really transfers to. I mean it, he's not teaching it because just to teach it. You know, he teaches it because you can use it in a live situation, in a game, in a practice. Um, so you really feel like you've got a lot of tools where like I can go out and use this strike or use this fit. Um, you know that's he wouldn't be teaching if he wasn't. You know he te he teaches very practically in terms of what you can actually use in the game. And so like I said, I feel like I have so many more tools. I guess, yeah, you, you know. can't press it, man. You can't like you can't. And what I mean by pressing is like you can't just be so. Right. And when you do get your opportunity, you don't want to be. You want to be calm. You want to be in the moment. So I, I was just saying that today. I was like, man, like. Run your running style and don't let nobody dictate it because they're on the other side of the defense. Because then they're going to do what they're going to do. They're going to do what they're going to do, and we're going to react off whatever they do. So you know, slow yourself down to where you can understand it and understand what they're doing. Understand he's going to overplay it. You can either get in behind him or if, if he's going to, you know, if he sit there and wait on you, you can still take it up front side. So it's just like your preference and like all about how you do it for real. I know it's only been a couple of days into practice. Do you notice a difference? From the five guys up front, just as far as the holes, the protection, any of that stuff. Um, they all they all working in sync. We all on, you know, they all on the same page. And when we mess it up, um, when we when we mess it up, we, it's all of us, not one of us. Like some guy, like say they did this, like nah, we all mess it together. So like we all on one page, and like it's not a lot of bickering and all that. And like one, you know, one we we we're gonna stand with each other. We're gonna fall together. We've been asking everyone just kind of about about Will. You know, he, he's the guy now taking charge in training camp. Yeah. How have you noticed maybe a difference with him starting this year? Leadership, leadership. Uh, he's a very you know very vocal guy. You know, so he's gonna lead. He's gonna lead the right way. And he don't he don't have a problem with being wrong. He don't have a problem with being corrected. He's he's a guy that take uh, many different uh, perspectives into you know into play into his mind. So you know he, he's he's a great guy for us. You know to lead us to where we gotta go. Callahan also talked about he thinks that your position room could be one of the most fun for him just in trying to design exactly yeah. what he wants to do. How, I guess, complex is the playbook for you guys since you have both elements running and passing involved? Uh, it can get a little, it can get a little tough, and some things can collide together. But that's what we got nothing but time, man. We in camp, and we that's our job. So we got nothing but time to study to make how sure much, we straight. How much time are you putting in studying? Uh, we put a lot of time in from the time that we're here to the hours alone and uh, at home. So we, we put a lot of time in to make sure we sharp. Whether how would you describe it? It's just the degree of difference. How fun. That whether it's running or receiving, how fun is it to be in this offense that's going to have a little creativity, <laughs> and how much is that going to be able to unlock what Man, you can do? It's super fun because um, it's essentially an opportunity, um, an opportunity that you know that I didn't have at first. So 
with all the opportunities, I'm gonna make sure I put my best foot up forward and be the best I can be. But being in this offense, it's, it's real cool. Like, especially like we can run the ball. You know, some of your favorite running schemes also get get pushed out, get out wide, and catch the ball too. And you know, and do what you do in space. You know what I'm saying? Make your hands space. Just in, in broad terms, how would you describe it? How much of a difference this offense is than what you had as a rookie? I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I was just going with the flow as a rookie, but like, it's like so many elements in life that I had to adjust with. You know, moving, uh, coaches, all these different things. So I really don't. I really don't know, man. I just be so. I just be so appreciative for the opportunity. So I don't really. You know, what I'm saying like, if I was to focus on the past, I it wouldn't do me no. It wouldn't do me no good. I'm, I'm just. You know, I'm where my feet at. How much does this attacking style kind of fit your game better maybe than the way things were done the last couple of years that you were here? I mean, um, in, a couple, in the past with defense, it was always attack. So I kind of say it really not a difference. I would say it's all about attacking the ball, like being physical, attacking the box. It's just really that's what defense is all about. And every defense, I would say, is attacking the ball. Um, you know, that's a guy, he's a guy who would be, like, pressing, you know. And really, the thing that really stood out with just his, like, topic with defense is just being aggressive. That's really the main goal is to put fear in the offense, and that's what he bring over, and he overemphasized that a lot because without being aggressive, you just saw the defense, I would say. What's his personality like in the meeting rooms and kind of on a day-to-day -day basis? Hey, you see my face, hey. Whatever you see out here, that's exactly as in that defensive room there. Yeah. Hey, he, he don't play. Like, he going to keep it real with you. He just want to see you being perfect, and that's the kind of coach you want to be coached by. We won't obviously see you guys until Saturday. How much are you guys looking forward to practicing over at the stadium in front of the fans? Yeah, I mean, that's going to be the first practice of, like, the public saying that's really. So I feel like really we just come out there and just be how we did today, always bring the energy and improve every day. Everybody's been talking about the addition to the secondary and the defense. Yeah. I mean, um, it's the same, you know, we have multiple guys now, guys who can play different positions and stuff. So it's really the same of just adjusting and just improving that corner and nickel. No matter what personnel or defense it is, just try to improve and just beat up for my defense, really. How, what's your confidence level? Oh, oh, it's great. It's high. It's great. I'm always try to keep it out. The more comfort you can play, the more well you play, I feel like. And I'm just trying to keep it at the high level no matter what. Coming here, Kenneth, is almost an, an opportunity for you, like, like a clean slate in terms of your career? Yeah, um, you know, obviously it's, it's the next step. Um, obviously, you know, coming from, from where I came from and then being able to be here, I think, you know, just being here is just going to allow me to be more free. Um, you know, I really enjoy this scheme. Um, I think this scheme is going to allow me to be able to showcase all my skill sets. Um, and, yeah, I just, I, like I said before, I, I love the staff. I love the guys. Um, you know, I'm just looking forward to just, just being in the middle of that thing and just flying around making plays. Which, How much is the dark? And, and your skill set correlates? Uh, just being aggressive. Um, I think, you know, you know, Denard um, is, is an extremely aggressive play caller. Um, you know, you get the sense of that um, as you, you know, be around him. Um, and so I'm um, just trying to, you know, obviously get to know the playbook, but just going out there and just playing free and just and being aggressive. So I think you know, that's what's going to show Denard us more. seems to be preaching, get the ball out, even on completed passes yep. down the field and things like that. As a defensive player, how much do you like that approach? Well, you love it because, you know, it's all about building habits. I think that's what we're trying to do is just build those habits of, of getting to the ball and getting the ball out. Um, and obviously, you know, you know, you get takeaways, you know, it, it correlates to winning games. And so, um, we, we put a big emphasis on, you know, getting the ball out, getting those takeaways so that way we can achieve our goals of being, you know, the best defense in the league and, and going out there and winning games. Being a guy, like, watching you is like, I would imagine the coaches look at you and say, yo, could just go mess stuff up. Like, being having that freedom, like, how much does that allow you to, to trigger and just play faster? Uh, it, it It's a big help. I mean, honestly, when you just know, you know, they're putting you in a position to go down and, and, and just wreck stuff um, and wreck I mean, that's what I, I love. And so um, I definitely feel like, you know, they're putting me in that position. Um, and I'm definitely coming in with the mindset of, of trying to prove I'm mean, trying to get it done. So, um, you know, I, I love it. Um, I love, you know, the way they're calling it so far. Um, and I just look forward to getting better every day.